As an artist and a writer myself, and I know there's an awful lot of very talented sex workers around the world, I thought the best way for people to get to know us is to see our art, see what we create, let them get to know us as people. Over the last year or so, Norma Jean Almodovar has acted as curator to a growing collection of artwork created by prostitutes, strippers, porn stars, and phone sex operators from around the world. The artist and rights activist is the founder of Ice Face, which stands for the International Sex Worker Foundation for Art, Culture, and Education. The bulk of Ice Face's art collection is currently being stored in Norma Jean's apartment, but there are plans for a major exhibition in New York City this coming fall. And artwork keeps pouring in from around the world as word spreads about her organization through the sex workers' community. Everybody that I talk to thinks it's wonderful because this is something that we've needed. We've needed to have an organization that specifically deals with our art and our writing and the culture that we have um, because right now uh, sex workers are typically so independent minded that it's very difficult to get them to come together on any issue. But when it comes to the art and culture, I think that this is going to be something they're going to say, yes, it's about time. The fact is that sex workers are as creative, if not more creative, than many people. And this is a great platform for them to show their unique art. I mean, look at this. There's sculptures, there's paintings, there's photography, there's writing. You know, these people deserve as much recognition as anybody else. I once was lost, but now was blind, but now I see. For 10 years prior to entering the field of sex work, Norma Jean was, of all things, a member of the Los Angeles Police Department. She left the force in 1982 after becoming fed up with what she claims to be an inordinate amount of corruption in her Hollywood division of the LAPD. I was so angry with what was happening on the police department in the 70s and the 80s that I decided I needed to make as strong and as powerful a statement as I could make. Coming from my family background, coming from upstate New York, coming from a very long tradition of ministers going back to the Reverend Charles Chauncey, going back to the Mayflower, if I'm going to come from that background, what is the most powerful statement I can make saying I would rather be a whore than work for the LAPD. You heard me, baby. Now world apart. After completing the manuscript to her tell-all book, From Cough to Call Girl, Norma Jean was arrested on a pandering charge and served 18 months in prison. Ever since then, she's been a vocal proponent for the decriminalization of prostitution and she sees Ice Face's art project as a way to achieve this. I think when people understand that there's an awful lot of very marginalized people who are very talented and very bright and should, should not be thrown in jail, uh, cr you know, going to jail is not a very creative situation. So that's why I think it's really important to change the laws. I think it's a wonderful new avenue of approach in the effort to protect sex workers by revealing their humanity by way of their artistic talent. One of the myths it's debunking is that we're drug addicts, we're illiterate, we're uneducated, uh, you know, that sort of thing. You know, this is, I, I think if a lot of people knew that money sex workers were making went to create art and went to support themselves while they were creating art, they might look at the actual work we do differently. would you say, oh, these were done by a sex worker? No, of course not. I mean, they're paintings and they're about life. They're the way I view life. And that's one of the things that we want to show people is this is how we look at your world. You know, you, you ostracize us, you stigmatize us, but we still look at the world. We still, we still see beautiful things in the world. This is part of a series of sculptures that I'm going to be doing for the exhibit. And it's called Commercial Sex, The Way We Work. And what it shows is a lot of the different ways in which sex workers earn a living. This woman, for example, um, does phone sex. And so she can do it from home while she's doing her cleaning, while she's doing her ironing. Uh, and she 
is talking to uh, her client on the other side, who happens not to be quite finished yet, so <laughs> he doesn't have quite his judge's robe on. But this is based on an article that was in the paper earlier in uh, 1997, in which a judge was caught um, making a lot of phone calls to phone sex persons from his chambers. And so I have the naughty little judge there. <laughs> this is, of course, the Eddie Murphy um, uh, soliciting a transgender prostitute. Uh, he, of course, thought that he was um, merely being a good Samaritan and wanting to give her a ride home. Here we have a, a lap dancer, and she's with her disabled client, because a lot of us do have clients that are uh, disabled. Um, and uh, this is the only way that they get to have female or male companionship is, is by buying our services. I think there's a comparison in, the, in terms of sex work and being an artist, but also in the art. I think when I have seen clients and I take an, an individual who is in need of, whether it's female companionship, whether it's sexual release, whatever it is, and I create that for him. I create a dream. Um, and when I leave, even though it's, it's sort of like the sidewalk artist where you draw something and then you know, it's washed away, or when you make sculptures in the sand, that's art but it doesn't last very long. Um, but I do leave dreams in their head, and so that is a creation of art, too. Performance art. This has been an ongoing thing. I mean, sex workers have always been very creative and very artistic. Um, and of course, we've also been artist models. And going back to the paintings that hang in churches worldwide, the models for these were the courtesans, because those were the only women that were allowed to pose for the artists in their days. So if you go to any church and you see a painting of a Madonna, chances are she was a prostitute. <laughs> I think we've, we've got some incredible artists out there, and I think that we're going to find there's a whole lot more as other sex workers around the world hear about us through our network. Uh, I think we're going to find some incredible discoveries of artists. I'm